guys, welcome to my Ocean One and Then Some channel. I told you I'd do a quick video Sunday, so this is an update on where we are uh, or where I am, however you want to look at that. Uh, let's get the YouTube disclaimers out of the way. None of my content constitutes professional advice. Viewers that follow any advice, suggestions, content, trades, anything to do with this channel, do so at their own risk because you are responsible for your own actions. All right, let's look at what I've done. I've pretty much erased the whiteboard here because I organized my trades on the other whiteboard, which was my intentions the whole time. But uh, I want to refresh your memory. I'm just going to hold this over here. I think you guys can see this, but I'm looking at it at my phone, so it's really small. Uh, on 6th to 14th, I purchased, I'd made enough money selling calls and puts. I'd made four or $500. I've been trading Rivian, Rivian for a couple weeks now. So on 6th to 14th, I purchased one leap or long call. Um, basically anything, you know, three months, six months out, basically over six months is considered a leap. Um, anyway, uh, could be a year. People argue over that. Anyway, I purchased it at the $10 strike price and I paid $320 for it. So for that to pay money, uh, you know, to be a winning trade, then I need Rivian to be over $1320 January the 17th, 2025. So that's a little bit of a hedge in case, you know, the stock just runs. Um, so, you know, now if it doesn't run, you know, if it closes below that, that's a losing trade, of course. Now, I have been keeping tabs on where Rivian has been closing. So for the past two weeks, uh, let's go back two weeks ago, it closed at 1129, the next day 1122. And I don't have the dates. I don't find those terribly important. 1136, 1174, 1152. 1187. So you can see Rivian is clearly in an uptrend here. Uh, 1183, 1180, and then all of a sudden, poof, 1111. What happened there? Well, that's where it was disclosed that RJ had sold some shares. Now, he picked up as many shares as he sold, but, you know, the market has a way of doing that. So that's what he sold. That's where he sold. And then it closed that Friday at 1088, which was actually, you know, a surprise to me for it to close so low after holding this trend. Um, I kind of looked for a quick rebound. Do we get that? No idea. Uh, but over here, now remember this channel is about selling calls and puts for a recurring income. Uh, wow, well, I got that glare on there. Uh, all right, let me see if I can get rid of the glare. Okay, I got rid of most of it. Uh, what I've done here is I've, I've got my trades spaced out by date what I did, uh, what I sold, I've only been selling, of course, uh, the strike price and what I paid. So I'm just gonna walk her through the last couple weeks here. On May the 24th, I sold two covered calls for 0.39 and the strike price was 1050. You know, I got paid $64. It closed at 1044, which is below the strike price. So I got to keep that premium. So I kept 100% of that. On 5th the 28th, I sold two covered calls for 0.31 1050 strike price, same strike price. Got paid $62. I did get assigned here and I allow, allowed I allowed that to happen because it closed at 1092. So that was a losing trade. I lost $20 on that trade. On 6th the 3rd, I sold two puts for 0.55. So after I got assigned, I just turned right back around and started selling puts. Um, at the 1150 strike price, now this is a dollar higher, you can see. And I got paid $110. It closed above $1,150. So I got to keep 100% of that. On 6th the 10th, I sold two puts for $0.39 for $1,150. Same strike price. Got paid $78. Uh, this is when it was disclosed that RJ had sold some shares. So we got that big pullback and the market had a pullback. And it closed at $10.88. Now, what I decided to do here was I decided to not get a sign. So I bought to close. I paid $131 to, to do that. And then since I felt like the sell-off was, you know, rather unjustified, I got fairly aggressive. And I turned right back around. And on that same Friday after I bought to close, I sold two puts for the $12 strike price. Uh, that's, that's a very aggressive trade. Most people wouldn't do that. And I got paid $1.23 or $123 times two. So I got paid $246. So if you just add up what I've gotten paid over one, two, three, four, uh, the last four weeks, I've gotten paid $409.
Now the question becomes, how much of this do I get to keep? I don't expect to get to keep 100% of that, but I do feel like that that was, you know, probably the best trade after such a big pullback. I would expect us to go up some. I wouldn't expect us to keep going backwards, although that's, you know, you never know. It's perfectly possible that we keep trending back here. You know, we may break 1050 and drop down to 10 or something like that. But, but I think if you look over here, just by, you know, what, what I'm talking about, if you look at the uh, historically closing prices over the last two weeks, it seems to me we're probably going to, you know, close back in the 11s, probably mid to high 11s would be my best guess. But, you know, we'll just have to see how that plays out. All right, I told you guys I would do a quick update for Sunday. This is it. There's really not much else to say unless I take any action during the week, which currently right now I don't plan to do, but you never know. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Until next time.